Tomorrow night, President Biden will give a primetime speech. It is the first time we will have heard from him since he bowed out of the race for the White House. And as our Germont Terry reports, it comes amid a groundswell of support for his vice president. Germont? Joe, as President Biden prepares to address the nation in his first speech since bowing out, VP Kamala Harris hit the campaign trail hard. Not only has she raised record dollars from donors since Sunday, she appears to have won over the Democratic Party as the presumptive nominee, with former President Trump quick Quickly attacking her record. Fresh off the plane, Vice President Kamala Harris arrived to Milwaukee just days after Donald Trump revved up the crowd and accepted the Republican nomination there. <laughs> Thousands packed this suburban arena to hear VP Harris rally for the first time as a presidential candidate. So, Wisconsin, I am told as of this morning that we have earned the support of enough delegates to secure the Democratic nomination. Not only has Harris secured the Democratic delegates, she's gotten the party excited with close to 1.1 million individual donors, raising more than 100 million since Biden dropped out, according to her campaign. And in the next 105 days, then we have work to do. And fresh on Tuesday, a Reuters poll shows Harris leads Trump 44 percent to 42 percent. The former president is not bothered by the newest polls or his new opponent. She's the same as Biden, but much more radical. She's a radical left person, and this country doesn't want a radical left person to destroy it. She's far more radical than he is. She wants open borders. Uh, she wants things that nobody wants. I was elected attorney general of the state of California, and I was a courtroom prosecutor before then. And in those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Nearly 40 percent of Democrats surveyed in the new CBS News poll says they are now more motivated to vote in November. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker went on CNN supporting Harris. People are showing up. They're excited. You heard that crowd uh, chanting for her, and that's what's happening. It's not a temporary thing. There's an enthusiasm in the Democratic Party. Now, Governor Pritzker has been floated as a possible VP pick for Harris. He said he would consider if poached, but right now his priority is here in Illinois. Other high-profile Democrats on the short list include Kentucky Governor Andy Prashear, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Joe? Thanks, Jermont. The president will address the nation at 7 tomorrow night on his decision to drop his 2024 presidential bid. And you can watch it right here on CBS News Chicago.